Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 23 of Direwolf20's Let's Play series. Today, I'm just doing a little organizational cleanup type work. Um, so, my power is really low, because I've been using a lot of this thing. Hey, I put a chest in the corner. Guess what it does? Uh, just between episodes, um, I, I calculated... That for today's episode, I needed 10 sturdy casings, and I did not feel like crafting those by hand. So I decided it was about time that I automated this setup. So I did it really quickly, and it's not a whole lot different from how I did it last uh, time I played with uh, actually additions in my uh, Let's Play series. So basically, I put filters in each of the four um, display stands. Um, and filter which items are allowed to go in there. So like in this case, um, your filter items are like bronze item casing in the case that you're making that thing, and then rose red in the case that you're making the redstone dudes. Um, so we basically filter like what's allowed to go in there. Um, and then in the center, we just have insert on green, extract on brown. And on the chest here, we have insert on brown, extract on green. So it's really... Honestly, pretty straightforward uh, setup for automating things. So I can put stuff in here and it'll auto craft stuff for me and it should work out pretty well. Um, and since I made 10 sturdy item casings, 2 million RF each, that's 20 million plus 4 million, uh, I actually kind of burned through a bit of my power. So uh, my canola oil is working overtime and I decided, you know what, now's a good time to go ahead and move this doohickey down here. So let's do that. Um, so that's the output hatch, right? So let's actually face this guy this way, um, and we'll throw his the, the, the chest here. We're going to have to get water down here. That's the one thing that we aren't going to have right off the bat. Um, but then what I can do is just, you know, boop, da doop, doot, doot. You will be insert, you will be insert. And you will be extract redstone mode in a second. I'll configure. You're going to be configured with uh, some dirt and some canola seeds. You're going to get power like so, and like so. Don't give me connections obstructed just because there's a torch in the way, or dirt for that matter. Cool. Okay. So that should be cool. Nice. So you've got power now. That's good. There we go. Yeah, RF is filling up. You can see it on the tooltip. Nice. All right, good, good, good. So now all he needs is water. Uh, I could get another reservoir down there. Um, that's a nice water source usually. Or I could run fluid conduits down. Yeah, whichever. How's everything doing over here, by the way? Not bad, not bad. How expensive is a reservoir? Just quartz glass. It's not bad. Eight of them, which is three of these, right? Eight, 16, 24. Am I right with my math there? I hope so. Oh good, this is done. And I was doing something with the small stone. I think I put a drawer. Yeah, there it is. That's right. I put the drawer up there. Nice. I was wrong on my math. Just having another reservoir is probably easier than running piping. Wow, my iron situation is not good. Luckily, I went mining between episodes. Uh, buckets, 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 buckets. Now, actually, I, I almost want to say... Can't you... Huh. Alright, I'm not sure, actually. So I'll just put this down one more. Bucket of water, bucket of water, and down is auto extract. Nice. Fancy. So now you should be growing canola seeds. 
same mechanic that we had above, just moved it down to the basement where we can now set this to auto extract and he'll run forever. Nice. And then you will no longer need to worry about transferring canola seeds up and down, back and forth. It's just something that's kind of been on my to-do list and I wanted to make sure you guys uh, saw me take care of that project. Sweet. Okay, cool. Just throwing out stuff I don't really need anymore and your stuff that can probably chill in here. Um, so yeah, that all looks pretty good. I need to get a, sl a block in there, but we'll fix that in a minute. Uh, maybe now, just because if I don't, I'll forget. So today's episode, the main project for today is I want to continue what I was working on last episode. I don't think that's the one I was using, is it? Circular? Is that Celtic? I think that was the one. That was this room. Yeah. Um, so last episode... Um, is there a block there? There is. It's the power connection. All right. Uh, I was working on a tree farm for specifically the needs of power gen for IC2. And you're probably thinking I'm going down the coal route. You are mistaken, sir. I am not going down the coal route. I am going down a different route. I am going down a forestry related route. Um, so I tested a bunch of different mechanics in single player to try and find a good mid-tier, because I can't do lava, method of generating power for IC2. And here's what I've come up with. Let's get started. So we're going to need a couple of things. Um, and making this was really just a test to make sure that the automation I put in place worked. So that's cool. Uh, one of the first things I'm going to want is a fermenter. Bum -ba -da -dum. For that, we're going to need four bronze gears, a sturdy casing, and some glass. Not a problem. Uh, let's get more bronze. And in between episodes, I went mining, remember? So, yeah, we've got some stuff. As soon as you're done cooking bronze for me, I'll probably set you up. So four bronze gears, not a problem, like so. Let's configure you to be furnace mode and configure you to input output on the top so that I can move all this dust. And in a minute, I'll move these guys downstairs. I'll probably just take care of that off camera. Cool. So what this will do is it'll start producing ingots for me. Dun, 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 dun. Grab some glass if I have some sitting around handily. I think I do. Fermenter. Sweet. Now I might want another reservoir while I'm here. So I'm thinking uh, I'm going to set this up in the basement uh, area of my IC2 room. Hello. What's up, water? How's it going? Neat. Um, so I think that's what I'm thinking. Oh, you know what else I set up between episodes? I want to show you guys what I set up between episodes. I did something else between episodes. Boink. Where am I? I'm here. I'm, I'm pretty close to my IC2 room. Nice. Uh, between episodes, I upgraded my bags that I use for um, mining. Um, so the Traveler's Sack from Actually Editions is pretty cool. You upgrade the Tier 3 bag that I've been using to mine with, uh, which is some leather and a Void Crystal Block, and you get a Traveler's Sack. And you can also get a Void Sack, which automatically voids things. Then I created an item filter uh, from Actually Editions, and I put cobblestone, gravel, and a site, that kind of stuff in there. You just right-click it, um, and you can specify different types of blocks. What I did was then um, set these guys to auto-pick up. We blacklisted these items in the traveler's sack and we whitelisted these items in the void sack now whenever i go mining uh I, it automatically picks up uh items for me which is pretty cool um so maybe i'll show you the uh, like functionality also i made a ring magnetization because that made uh mining a little bit easier so yeah that's that's a thing so let's uh let's clear out some stuff down here and then we can get started let's see where i am Hey, cool. Hey, look, that's where I am. Neat. I'm right underneath my extractors and stuff. So that's actually uh, a good place to be. So I'll be back in a minute after I clear out a reasonable amount of space down here. So I'm going to demonstrate this now. Look, I'm going to drop a bunch of stuff on the ground that I don't need, right? 
and the random magnetization is picking it all up. So watch what happened, right? If we look inside this sack, it's only cool ores and stuff, and this sack, nothing, because it picked up everything else, um, and it actually worked out pretty good. Just note these things don't work when they're in your hand, so don't hold on to them. So as I mine, like, this is what it looks like, right? If I, uh, let's do one, two, three, and one, two, three, and then we'll get, where did I put my shovel? Did I accidentally put it in here? I might have, yeah, I did. Um, and then we just clear out all this stuff, right? So this mining aspect, or, or this ma mining mechanic is pretty awesome. That looks pretty good. So check it out. In this bag, just a few things, and in this bag, nothing. And if I picked up like this coal, for example, um, it would land in that bag. Cool? Neat, right? So that makes mining a lot easier, because in the past, what I was doing every time I mined was I had to like constantly fight with overflowing inventory. Now it just voids all the stuff that's nonsense, and uh, yeah, totally worth getting if you're still manually mining at this stage like I am. Oh, another neat thing you can do with this traveler's sack, by the way, is shift right click on a chest and it'll dump everything in there. How nice is that? Pretty cool, right? So I think that's enough mining for now, so I'm gonna put this stuff away. I've been holding on to my ring of magnetization because that really derps up um, as it relates to my canola oil thing downstairs. So that's uh, something to keep note of. You can go in here for sifting and yeah. Nice, and you guys are mostly done being processed. Beautiful. All right, uh, so just a little bit more lighting downstairs, and we'll be in cool shape. That all looks good. Um, and we might just need a little bit of light help in this room. Yeah, I might wind up throwing glowstone on the floor in a minute, but for now, that works. So let's get a few more things up and running down here. I want, believe it or not, to make another... Reservoir. Ironically, I just made one. Uh, so let's turn that off for a minute. And we'll let you run again in a sec once I make this stuff. Man, power's really struggling a bit, huh? You guys are almost done refilling yourselves, though, so that should help. Nice. Back to furnace mode. Push pull. So that'll be another reservoir for me. I am hungry. Cool. So down here. So I'm not exactly sure where I want to set this up just yet. Um, but long story short, we want to process the stuff coming in. So let's let's set it up over here, and we'll kind of let this be the starting point. So the first thing I want to set up is a fermenter. Uh, that is going to sit right here. He's going to need RF power, so we have to transfer that stuff over. And I'm kind of glad I got more of that appetite, um, because this stuff is actually going to be really useful for me as well. So let's get the basic set up here manually, and then we'll go from there. Okay. Uh, so for now, I'm just going to make fertilizer with appetite, which I'm pretty sure I can use as a fuel source. So if I pop fertilizer in there, boom. Now I got rid of that no fuel source warning, and it actually filled up that red bar. So that's good. The next thing we need is, and I'm going to turn you off. Saplings, cool. Saplings uh, and fertilizer make a fuel source called biomass. Those of you who haven't watched my videos all that long may not be familiar with this, but it's it was actually really heavily used back in the day. Nowadays, it's not as heavily used. Um, we're going to need water for this to run happily as well. 
So. U plus U, infinite water source, plus U, and then on the down, always active. Nice. Now all he needs is power. So we're going to need to run some power over here. So let's uh, let's consider doing that. Um, let's get, do I have any more HV? I have like one HV wire relay. I might need to make another one of those. Uh, and probably a few more HV wire coils, to be honest with you. Uh, so I'll come back in a minute once I've made that. All right, guys. So we'll run some wiring along here. That should look pretty cool. Can you? Yeah, you can. Nice. And then I should be able to power this machine with an HV wire connector. Like so. Beautiful. Now he's got power. He's got water. He's got saplings. He's got fertilizer. Uh, he should have everything he needs to get rolling making biomass. Sweet. Um, he's a little bit low on power now because our power backlog is, is suffering a bit. Uh, but that should be remediated pretty quickly. You guys are running. No, you're not. What um, is up? You know what? I think I know what's up. It's one of those things that can happen every now and then. That should remediate some issues. Nice. Much better. That explains why I was having a few power issues there. I was like, what's going on with my power? It seems awfully low. Um, I must have accidentally picked up that thing at some point. You know what I should do? Because this is mostly a completed set now. There we go. So it should be rare that I actually have to go back there and do any work, but in the event that I ever do, you know, I will. But for now, that should prevent me from accidentally picking up that item. And everything's visible through the through the glass, which is kind of neat, actually. But yeah, that, that should solve that problem. Nice. All right. So now we pop over to here, and we should see this thing running no problem, right? Yeah, he's full on power, like plenty. Nice. So we've got biomass. So that's step one. Next step is turning this biomass into uh, a more refined substance using an item called a still. Uh, still requires uh, redstone and glass. So I'm going to go convert a bunch of sand into glass because I feel like I don't really have enough. I've got nine at the moment. So we'll let this cook up real quick. Um, you, by the way, are really suffering for power lately. He's He's been choking a little bit. But this is probably the last episode where we will have uh, power problems with IC2 for a little while. We're, we're going to eventually get to a point, from what I gather, uh, where things are going to be a little bit crazy. But it'll be all right. Don't worry. So I need three of these. And I made four by mistake because I clicked one too many times. Whoops. Oh, well. I might have to make another sturdy casing because of that. But yeah, we'll live. Um, so these three stills I'm going to set up here, here, and here. And the way I'm going to set this up, um, so you're piping water in. I'm thinking I'm going to actually move this to back here. Um, and we're going to have you and you, and you're going to be set to extract. Always active. Cool. And then I'm going to have this guy who's going to be disconnected here. He's not hooked up to that. Uh, he's going to run here, here, and here, and he's going to be set to on the up face extract always active. That's going to pump biomass into the stills. Nice. And the stills should start cooking this up. Uh, they're going to need a little bit of power. And they're going to produce a nifty substance called ethanol. Great. Uh, now the stills are, as you can see, much slower at producing ethanol um, than the fermenter is at producing biogas. And he's going to need a steady supply of saplings to make a steady amount of biogas. So we're going to want to eventually pipe the saplings down here. But right now our main input is just saplings and fertilizer, and that'll get us biomass turned into ethanol. Cool? All right. 
Uh, let's get... How am I for bronze? I'm gonna need a little bit more bronze. Really annoyed. That... I did that derp. Because it means I have to use a bunch of bronze now. Stop it. Stop. Stop. Thank you. There you go. So to make, I can at least demonstrate for you guys the new cool thing that I set up. Uh, so we'll pop over here. You know what else I did? I automated this. So I'll come back in a second. We should have that plate thingy. Uh, so we're gonna want two plates and a gear. Neat, right? Just little bits of automation to make my life easier. You can be used to make this into that. And if we come over here, we should see... Why are you having trouble here? Alright, so this was automated. You know, maybe something got in there. Well, that doesn't really make sense, though. This was literally automated, like, in between episodes. I don't know what's up. North. Why are you not... Why is that not working? That's actually really weird. Bronze ingots. I don't know what's up with that. I think I left this in here, so this still works, right? I might have to figure out why that happened, because that really was working. Believe it or not, it worked great, uh, I thought. All right, so now let's demonstrate my automation step. You, 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 and you, and boom. Cool, right? All right, while that's happening, let's get our item conduits. Is that all the item conduits I have? I may need to make a few more item conduits. Just a few more. I may need a little more than that, but we'll see. So I can put most of this away, I think, right now. And I can put you away. I'm just cleaning up my inventory for a sec. This should be done. Cool. All right, so the next thing I want to have is a nifty little device called a bio generator cool that's gonna require gold and a sturdy casing cool and I want six of these bad boys beautiful bio generators produce EU out of uh, bio fuel or ethanol uh, and that's gonna be awesome for us so this extra still was kind of a derp but that's my bad and the rest of this is cool. So let's chill for a sec with that. So you guys are all gonna produce EU for me. Uh, now we're gonna need some kind of cabling to get up there. And I might, am I at the point where I think I wanna have a better power source? Eh, thinking yes. Um, so a CESU isn't bad, but an MFE might be nice. Um, and that just needs a basic machine casings and energy crystals, which is not terrible. I'm gonna need 16 diamonds and some redstone to get that. So maybe now's the time to do this. Um, CESU, how are you power-wise? You're gonna need some help. Hopefully one of the last times I have to do this. But you go ahead and start macerating that up. And while that's happening, I'm going to
try and figure out where I am in relation to. All right, so that's not too bad. Ah, what did I just break? That's what I broke. All right, so let's do this, set him back to, he's just insert on green, right? Yeah. So in fact, what I want this middle guy to do, which is the, the chest, I want to be insert on green, extract on brown, always active. And then I can run into the back of you, you insert on brown. Dire 20, king of the derps. So now this thing should be getting biogas resources. Nice, oak saplings. Nice, 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 nice. At some point I'll work on automating fertilizers, but not quite yet. But for now that should be pretty cool. So we should be getting lots of ethanol, which is good. Um, and we'll be getting lots of biomass. So, so the, the testing that I did in a single player world found that one fermenter was able to easily keep up with uh, the biomass required to keep three stills running at all times. And we'll see this in a minute because we'll find in a moment when I check that the biomass is um, filling up the stills pretty well. Um, now the last thing I'm going to want to do is to pop back upstairs. And do I have fluid conduit still. I have four. That should actually be enough, believe it or not. Um, now we're going to be producing a decent amount of EU per tick from this. So I want to upgrade this guy soon. Um, in order to upgrade him, we're going to have to do something. Um, so right now, right, so he's outputting at MV. I've got a thermal centrifuge and an induction furnace here. Induction furnace is a tier two. Thermal centrifuge is also a tier two. So if these want to accept tier three power, uh, we're gonna need an MV um, transformer on this dude. An MV transformer is accept high power on one level. So let's make one of those. They're not too hard to make unless he changed the recipe. Nope, just a basic machine casing. And two of these. Can you go to that mode? Who is it? Oh, it's a zombie pigman. <laughs> the zombie pigman just felt like banging on a door for some reason. So we'll put this guy away. And you into here with these two dudes. So if I do this correctly, I'm going to want my IC2 wrench. You're choking on power again a little bit, aren't you? Just a tad. Okay, we're gonna put you here. And we're gonna shift right click you. And then you should be cool. Right? So you should still be transferring power to machines. No problem. And if I throw this power in here, you should be getting juice again. Yep, see? So he's still working. So it's power to MV to LV, and the MV can go right to here. So that does 128, and that does 128 to 32. And these guys can accept 128, so we should be fine. Uh, so when I upgrade this to an MFE, we should be okay. The rest of an MFE uh, recipe is just basic machine casing, which is easy, and some gold wiring. I need four of you. And then I need uh, eight more of these. Oh, you've already got iron plates. I'll let you make one more set. Are you guys done? Nice. All 
I'm supposed to be doing that. So that should get me four sets of those. There's your basic machine casing. We just compress these bad boys and we should be good to go. Nice. All right, for power in, um, thinking we're gonna want power in to be behind this block. So that is currently a tin cable. We're gonna be wanting to go, I think copper. Um, copper cable, or maybe we want gold cable. Let's uh, extract some more gold out of this. Just, so cable has what properties? Copper can do 128 EU per tick. Gold can do 512. This has a loss of 0.2, this has a loss of 0.4. So this has twice as much loss. Um, but we're gonna try and move these as close as possible here. Your 0.8, and fiber cable is the best at 0 0.025. That's not actually too bad. But I'm gonna go with gold, because I've used quite a lot of diamonds today, and I don't wanna use much more. Fair? Um, so you're done, you're cool. Uh, what I'm gonna do is pick you up, and you, and uh, I'm gonna replace you with some gold cabling. Um, I hate the EU loss thing, but it's, 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 it is what it is. You know, that's actually probably enough gold. You, 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 uh, we'll put you away for now and you, cool. I have a lot of slag. All right, so now that you're done, I presume, cool, we can make an MFE. Nice. That should have no problem doing that. Cool. And you're good, and you're getting power, and everybody's happy, and nobody's exploding, which is pretty much what I wanted to see. You're getting your power back, slowly but surely. You're filling up. Everybody's filling up, in theory, because the sunlight's uh, active at the moment. So that should all be cool. All right, now let's boost this guy. Uh, so we're going to basically I want to have this as close as possible here that should be okay now if I have this here that's gonna connect which kind of stinks and I'd rather you not connect to that wiring I might need to make some paint brushing so I'll make two painters, uh, one blue and one red. How's that sound? Blue and red. And we can use these to prevent these wires from connecting to each other. So you're gonna be red and you will be blue. Nice, that's cool. All right, and then what I wanna do basically um, is have my bio generators, like so. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna need a little bit more quartz. That should be good. Are you on that mode? Yeah. Good. And some more of you. So there's three fused quartz. I'll get a total of six. And this should be cool. Now remember, I want to have my, um, I mean, if I really wanted to make this look neat. Ow. Um, I wonder if I should. No, I think they're good the way they are. gonna be dark in here just a smidge all right um what we're gonna want to do probably then is we're 
recipe of this dude is that. Cool. Let's run some of this piping behind the wall. How's that sound? So what we'll do is we'll run this out here. And these can all be set to insert, right? So insert, insert, cool. These guys are all gonna have their power hookups. I wanna paint you blue to prevent you from connecting. Cool, that looks good to me. Okay, and then we'll run this like maybe behind the wall. Okay. Nice. That was not supposed to be that. Cool. All right, so you guys are having lots of ethanol right now. Um, do I have an EU reader? Did I ever make one of those? It's just a circuit, four of you. Really, with the not barely enough. So you're gonna run low on power pretty soon, probably. But you're okay right now because the solar is keeping us up and running. Cool. And a piece of glowstone. So let's see how much power we produce from this. I've been kind of holding this as a little secret as to how good this is all episode long. Um, but we're about to find out how good this is. So currently, if we read this guy... Um, That doesn't sound right. 485 EU per tick, what? These guys aren't running yet, are they? I don't think so. Yeah, no fuel. That, that, that EU reading is not correct. Can I read the wire? Yeah, wire is doing nothing. Oh, it's because the MV transformer is outputting here. I don't want you to connect here. That's your problem. See, like if I remove this, then our EU reader should be a steady eight-ish, right? Because of the loss, it's 7.59, but that's just because of the loss. Huh. So what if we did this? And we just moved him out one. So like, let's let's say we put a cable here and there. Um, and we put our solar here. Let's sleep through the night and see how we're doing now. Does that sound cool? That should be good now. Um, and we should no longer have cable connection issues. So if we read this guy, incoming is 7.1, because we have a little bit of loss there. Again, I could upgrade to fiber, which would be a lot less loss, but let's see what happens when I activate this guy. You ready? So we're gonna hook this up, one, two, three, and you're gonna be set to extract always active, extract always active, extract always active, boom. These guys should all be running now and generating power. They generate 32 RF per tick each so we've now got 182 eu per tick coming into this bad boy which means we have a really good power gen that's not bad at all so simply for the cost of some saplings uh we've got a really good power gen how cool is that huh i'm excited about that that's actually really nice um and i did the math well i didn't do the math but i did the testing in the single player world and found that three stills were able to keep up with 
six bio generators. What's even cooler is the bio generators automatically turn off when their internal buffer fills. So they stop using power when their internal buffer fills up, or they stop using fuel, that is. So this doesn't require any further automation, which is even better. And we've already generated, in the moments that I was speaking, 200,000 EU. Now, if you remember, my CESU was capable of holding 300,000. So in the last less than a minute, we've produced more power than we've ever had the capability of producing or storing. How cool is that? That is some really good power gen right there. Uh, and that should last us quite a while until we need to get into the nuclear age, um, which will probably happen at some point. You should be getting power. Why are you not getting power? Because you should be. You should be getting power. Why are you not getting power? Because you should be. Because you should be outputting medium voltage on all sides. You have no voltage. Why would you have no voltage? So you're transferring energy out. You're transferring energy out. You're not transferring anything. The old break and replace. I already put this thing away. Because I thought it was done. So this actually is really cool. Just trying to figure out why you wouldn't be transferring. Oh, there we go. Now we're cool? No. Interesting. He really should transfer out all three sides. Maybe I need to use gold? I don't think so, though. Because you should be output 128. Um, I want you to be a fixed step down, by the way, not redstone based. Just in case a redstone signal ever touches him. Yeah, that should actually really be working. Like, the reason this worked is because this power line's here. I'm just going to break you for a sec. So you're low on power. If I hook this up, are you getting power now? You are. I'll be back in a sec. I want to keep an eye on this. And just to be clear, if I give you a that, you're still good on power. And you're still good on power. All right, we'll keep... That is weird. That's like a bug, I think. I don't know what's up with that. That should not be happening. So real quick, just because I've been testing this, this internal buffer filled up. Look, we're not using ethanol. Just to demonstrate that. We should be good now. We'll start using ethanol again. Cool. Uh, I solved this by doing this. Not sure why I had to. That shouldn't have needed to be done, but... Oh, well. It's all fixed now. So let's put you back in place. Tiles go here. And there. Looks pretty good. Not bad at all. And you guys have levers, so that's why you've got tiles. Okay, cool. So, wrapping up point for the episode, for sure. We're already up to almost 825,000 RF. Not bad. EU, I mean. Uh, so that's cool, right? So ethanol, we've, we've, we've taken care of. We've done good things. Everything's working great. That's a really nice power gen source, I believe. Uh, and we'll come back next episode and maybe take advantage of it. I think... We'll see. For now, Daryl20 signing off. Take it easy.